It's been nearly six months since 10-year-old Anthony Avalos was found dead at his Lancaster home. His mom, Heather Barron, and her boyfriend, Kareem Leva, are both charged in his murder and accused of torturing him. On Monday, unsealed court documents revealed the couple allegedly whipped Avalos with a belt and looped cord, poured hot sauce on his face, and held him by his feet and dropped him on his head repeatedly. Prosecutors say the couple withheld food from him, denied him access to the restroom, slammed him into furniture, and would encourage the other kids in the house to hurt him. At one point, prosecutors say Avalos couldn't walk, was unconscious lying on the floor for hours, and was never given medical attention. The system failed, Anthony! Protesters have spoken out against the L.A. County Department of Children and Family Services handling of this case. DCFS was called out to Avalos' house several times, but claims of physical abuse were never corroborated, even though neglect was suspected. In a prior press conference, attorney Brian Claypool took aim at the department. There were 18 separate investigations by DCFS of this household. This is not a case of the social workers are overworked. This is a case of flat out deliberate indifference toward the life of Anthony Avalos. Anthony's dad previously flew out from Mexico to demand answers from DCFS. I wish I could hug them right now. But it's just, you know, we have to get this done, you know. So it's, it's hard. And Anthony's uncle, who he had stayed with sometimes, believes he died as a result of DCFS incompetence. He wanted to be something. He wanted to be a policeman or a fireman when he grew up. He's not going to get that opportunity because the system failed him. And Avalos was found dead at his Lancaster house this past June. His mom, Heather Barron, and her boyfriend, Rene Leva, are both facing murder charges with an enhancement for inflicting torture. They have both pleaded not guilty to those charges. Meanwhile, prosecutors are looking at giving them potentially the death penalty. It is seeking the death penalty both for the mother and the boyfriend involved in the death of 10-year-old Anthony Avalos. Prosecutors are alleging that the boy was severely tortured during the last five or six days of his life. Here you can see in court, Heather Barron and Kareem Leva. They were both there this morning. The deputy district attorney, John Hatami, told the court that they're looking for the death penalty because they say there was extensive abuse. Prosecutors say Avalos was at times whipped with a belt and cords. And court documents reveal that Anthony's injuries stretched from his head to his toes. And there were bruises and abrasions and a traumatic brain injury. In court, the deputy DA said there's also evidence of Leva involved in violent conduct and threats while he's in jail, including an alleged assault against another inmate back in July. The family says the death penalty would be justice for Anthony. Today is especially hard for our family being here, but we're thankful that the DA and his team are working really hard for us. We appreciate everything they're doing and seeking justice for our little boy. The district attorney's decision today to seek the death penalty against the mom and the boyfriend sends a message to the, to, to the entire community in the state of California that if you want to abuse, torture, and kill helpless children, you will pay the ultimate price. And family members have also filed a $50 million wrongful death lawsuit against the Department of Children and Family Services. They say DCFS failed to protect Anthony when there were a number of calls saying that there was abuse going on, and they say that DCFS ignored it.